Hello, here is Christoph from the 3D Code blog on blogspot.com. I would like to show you today a new function inside of 3D Code and um, you can find it in the newest version, in the version 3.07 and um, yeah, I have opened an older version of 3D Code to show you the difference and yes, I would like to show it to you now. Yeah, uh, it's a, a brush function. Normally, um, I am here. Yeah, maybe I explain where I am. I have started with the default uh, default box that you have. You can find in the main menu when you start 3D code, and um, the default box is in the pixel per pixel painting mode. Yeah, just the regular mode to paint on objects. Yeah. Okay. Um, the, the normal or the regular uh, way to paint on objects is this here. This is completely okay, but as soon as you move your brush fast, then you see uh, there happens lags or problems and bugs. Here, the brush loses the connection at hard surfaces, and that's really, really ugly when you when you try to to paint very fast and. Uh, do for example a lot of strokes that's really crazy and the next thing is if you start and come back then 3d code uh, the brush is yeah it's moving yeah, let's see I start here and come here back and you see there is a straight line and that's not nice so when I start to to paint in this way so very strange uh, effects area uh, uh, yeah results here um, what happens here? Okay, um, so in the new version there is a small difference, but important difference. Here we have the new version, and here you can see uh, any uh, no way or no matter how I paint, my brush keeps always on the position and is very nice to paint. You see, no breaks anymore, and you can just paint your straight lines. And the next point is, you remember when I moved outside of my uh, of my mesh here, then a straight line happens, and I have not the possibility to paint uh, really really good. This time, this is corrected. So when I start here and come here back, I can do this where I want. I can just come back where I want, and I can paint very very nice. And it's a little bit like a direct projection, yeah. It's a combination of direct projection and surface projections. It's very, very, very cool for and very nice for texture work on on the borders. This is very important. And the cool, uh, the good thing is when you move your brush very fast, it stays here until the the border. I move back to the old version and I show you what happened there. And when I move it very fast, it loses the connection before I reach the end. That's very very ugly, and this is not happening anymore in the new version. It's much faster and much much more, uh, yeah, more, uh, yeah, better. It's just better. My English. <laughs> okay, uh, this is uh, one one point, and the new version has a very very nice function too. I can show you the old one. When I move my brush here and try to paint, then I have this ugly strokes. Um, especially when I am in the 3D code navigation, the default 3D code navigation mode, mode there, there I can start to paint outside, but nothing happens. So outside, I am, I am rotating. I can change this function here in the custom navigation uh, mode. I will show it to you later. Um, then I can, uh, then I will not navigate. So. Uh, um, if you like to to paint or to start to paint outside, you need to change this mode. So, what I do is now I move to the new version here, and I have already changed my my navigation a little bit to start to paint. First, I will show you what happened when I I don't I'm not forced to to start on the object. I just can start here outside, and it's not a problem for me to start here and paint. That's very, very, very cool. This is working, of course, not only in the connective picking mode, it's working in the volume-based mode too. That's very cool. 
So I can just start where I want and I can just start to paint. That's re really, really nice. And the complete, complete uh, pen sensitivity, yeah, pen pressure, it's working. It's working here and you can just paint how, how you want. That's very, very nice. So uh, how you do this? Normally uh, you have the navigation in the 3D code navigation mode. So to, to change it, I first move to the regular 3D code navigation. So when I start to outside of the object, I move the camera. So uh, when, I, when I would like to, to, to switch this off, I just move here in the camera menu and go to custom navigation. At the moment, 3D code navigation is the default mode. So I go to custom navigation and wait, uh, customize navigation, sorry. Customize navigation. Now a uh, setup from the navigation appears. And what I do is I look for the function that says my left mouse button to rotate the camera when I am outside of an object. Yeah, it's a little bit complicated, but very easy to understand if you see it. So let's have a look. And uh, here we have the left mouse button here. This part here says what happens when uh, when I press my left mouse button. And my left mouse button is the same like my pen pen tip, okay, of my Wacom tablet or any tablet you are using. So, okay, when I use my left mouse button, then the the uh, and I am outside of the object, then I will rotate my camera, okay. So I say when you use the left left mouse button and you are outside of your object, you don't have to use, okay, you don't have to rotate. This is just, you just, uh, um, uh, you click on this, on this checkbox and um, disable this checkbox and you now say okay and now you are not navigating anymore because you said uh, that, um, you said the left mouse button when it is used uh, have not to 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 uh, control the camera navigation, so this is all. And you, if you like, you can save your uh, customized navigation to any place. So store preset, you can give it a new name and can save it just. And later you can uh, open it, or better, it will appear here in your menu. You can see as normally by default you have three navigation options: the uh, 3D code, Maya, and ZBrush like. And this one is my own, and uh, it have appeared after I've uh, changed my navigation. Okay, that's all for today. Um, I hope you have enjoyed my small demonstration of the new function, which is really, really cool. And yeah, next time I will show you a new part of 3D code. Thank you very much, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.